Hey guys, it's Joe Fear with GetThriveCart.com and in this video we're going to talk about another pretty common question we get asked which is how do I put in custom scripts and any kind of tracking codes onto my ThriveCart checkout pages. So this video we're going to line out how to do that, uh, kind of why to do that, maybe some plugins also that you can use, you know plugins meaning scripts and, and different third-party tools you can plug into ThriveCart using these tracking scripts and Let's just get on into it now. So it's super, super easy uh, with Thrivecart to do this. So you can add any kind of code and you can actually add them in all various ways. We'll get into that in just a second. Uh, but those actually get added directly to your checkout pages inside of Thrivecart. So just imagine on each of your pages, you can actually have custom kind of hidden codes like pixels and tracking analytics. Uh, but you can also have things that pop up, stuff like chatbots and um, and different kind of interaction, you know, social proof tools and whatnot. So you can have things actually being visible, visibly shown, and then also kind of things that are invisible undercover. And you can also specify which pages you want these codes to be shown on. And we'll get into the you know the different types of places and pages, upsells, downsells. Um, you know, different types of products you want to choose, all of that stuff you can customize. And all of this is going to help you with your marketing, tracking, increasing conversions, and knowing your numbers and your analytics way more than you ever would before. All right, so where can the codes be placed? There's a whole bunch of stuff. So you can basically have all of your codes, the same codes, go on all of your pages. And I'm going to show you how to actually do this in Thrivecart very shortly. Uh, but there is a box where you can have that done where just placing one code will put it on all of your pages. So you don't have to actually paste the code a million times. You can actually just choose to have it on your initial checkout page only. So meaning it could be your front end product and your upsells, downsells, or anything that comes after doesn't have that uh, pixel or code or whatever it might be. Another option is to only place something on your upsell or downsell. So that means after they purchase your first product, then that code can be placed on those other pages. So maybe there's some special offer or some kind of tracking pixel uh, you want just for your buyers, knowing that they're actually buyers only. And the last one, you can actually specify uh, which products people have purchased in the funnel and place specific codes for those people. So super dynamic options here, just looking at this screen. Uh, in front of you can kind of probably get some ideas of how you can use tracking, different social proof tools, live chats, analytics, stuff like that to really optimize what you're already doing. All right, so the types of scripts to use. These are some options and we've tested all of these and they help a lot. So we actually like to do live chats on our checkout pages. And what that is, an Olark is an example of one of the live chat third-party tools that we use. There's a whole bunch of them out there. And they basically just give you a little script to plug onto your web page or wherever you're gonna use this thing. So Olark is really cool. Live chat is just great because you know sometimes your customers have questions on the actual checkout checkout page. So why not try to answer that objection right then and there while you got them and they're about to purchase your stuff. So this is an option to really increase your conversions. Another one is social proof. So it's kind of a trend right now and we're not gonna get into if this actually increases your conversions or not. This is something that you should definitely test on your own. But a couple big tools are proof, get proof, and FOMO. So these basically are just the tools that um, every you know five, 10 seconds or so, a little notification will pop up in the corner of the screen that says, so-and-so has purchased this product 10 minutes ago. And the whole idea is to use social proof to kind of convince other people to get in as well because other people are doing it. So that is a pretty cool little tool you can add in here. Another one is Google Analytics. I'm sure all of you guys are using this or should be. But Google Analytics, there is a lot of custom tracking you can do once you have this kind of hooked up with Thrivecart and your Google Analytics. You can pull all of that data into Google Analytics so you have a massive dashboard and you can get a lot more granular in terms of the data that Thrivecart is giving you. So um, basically Google Analytics is amazing. It's another way to have all your data housed in one place and you can dig in deeper. And of course you have Facebook pixels. We live and die by Facebook pixels and ads and 
Yeah, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but you definitely should be using Facebook pixels on your checkout pages. This will allow you to do things like retargeting. And then you can uh, also, you know, you can follow up with people who abandon the cart if they don't purchase a product. So that means you can specifically run ads straight to those folks who didn't purchase, but they did see your checkout page. This is actually where we make most of our money and we call it kind of like our cleanup crew. It's pretty cool but this is how we do it. So we're actually placing these Facebook pixels on our checkout pages and then following them with ads and you know things to chat bots and whatnot to kind of spark that conversation and get them to buy eventually afterwards. And then chat bots, I mentioned uh, chat bots. Mini chat is our favorite. You just go to minichat.com. So we basically have something on there. If someone tries to leave our checkout page, a exit intent window pops up on the actual Thrivecart checkout page, and that is initiated by Minichat. And that's just a script that we plug into one of these fields I'll show you in a second here. And it's super, super, super easy to do. And again, it's kind of engaging people in a way before they leave and not purchase your product ever. So we're trying to capture these people before they're gone forever. Okay, so it's super simple to get into where you actually plug in these codes. So I'm just gonna select this product here, a little test product. I'm gonna go to edit. And then once you have your product set up, you just wanna go over to the customers tab right here. Click this. Um, this is where you're gonna put all your rules. So this kind of syncs up with your autoresponder, mailing list and whatnot. But we wanna to go to tracking. So we wanna click tracking and we wanna click yes. We wanna add some tracking to our checkout pages. And now these are the boxes where you actually put the code. And we've, uh, we've talked about this. Basically this first box is where all of your, the codes for all pages will be placed. So things like Google Analytics, Facebook, and, and things like that, that you wanna track on all pages would go in this box here. Uh, there might be a page where you only want to have um, things pop up on just your checkout page. So basically this isn't, um, you know, don't repeat the code, it basically explains it here. So, you know, if things that are common throughout all your pages, put them here. But for something that might be like an Olark chatbot or um, or or a chatbot that is, you know, mini chat or Olark the live chat, that would go inside of here. Now, if you have people who have already purchased the main product, again, that would go here. Just don't repeat anything that you've had in any of these uh, boxes above, or really mainly the first box, since that's always going to be uh, kind of the universal code. So it's. Very simple. Again, this goes for all pages. This is just on the checkout page. And this is only after someone has actually purchased the main product. And, um, and just keep this in mind, this is for specific to a product that you've set up here. So, you know, once you have other products inside of here, you can either duplicate it and then just, you know, tweak the product or, you know, whatever product you might have, you might have to get into here and then set up some tracking specifically for this product as well. So that way, you know, you can keep your tracking clean. You know that your tracking is custom to your products uh, that you're creating inside of Thrivecart. All right, so now that you know where to plug in these codes and all that stuff, just wanted to clarify that upsells and custom pages, these are basically all the pages that happen after a purchase. So, uh, you know, basically when you have these upsell pages, you can create a whole string of these after a purchase. We just want to make sure that you know codes will actually be triggered on those other upsell pages if you're putting the codes inside the first field. So field number one, that basically is going to put your code on all Thrivecart related pages. So that means you know pages created inside of Thrivecart. But what it will not do is if you have any custom success pages that happen after a purchase. So you know obviously you can use Thrivecart's success pages that are kind of uh, defaulted in there and you can customize those or you can have your own custom page. We just wanna make sure to make it clear that you always have to use codes on those pages. So you actually have to embed those codes on your custom page because you know Thrivecart's not gonna be able to embed that um, if it's on a whole separate domain. So I just wanna make that super clear here for you. And that's about it. So we're gonna create some additional videos in the future very, very soon here. Uh, where we're actually gonna dig into very specific details of advanced tracking strategies and cool tools, very specific ways you can use tracking inside of Thrivecart to really dial in your marketing even more. 
But hopefully this video kind of opens your eyes to some options that you might not have been, you know, might not have known about, or you just don't know how to get there. Because it's a little hidden, but it is super simple once you figure it out. So that is about it. If you don't have Thrivecart yet, of course, go check out getthrivecart.com. There are loads of tutorials and trainings and all these different little cool tips and tricks and hacks and whatever you want to call them over there. We're, we're pumping content out all of the time. And of course, if you haven't got in yet, we're always going to give you the absolute lowest price that Thrivecart is. And we're giving you the absolute best bundle of packages, um, bonuses, training, interviews, uh, tips and tricks. Basically, we have a lot of content. We've done a lot of exclusive interviews with the creator. And we have all sorts of tutorials that will get you up to speed with not only getting your Thrivecart checkout page live, all of those, but actually improving your marketing, driving sales, creating products, and really optimizing everything you do. So go grab it now before it's too late at getthrivecart.com. And definitely reach out to us if you have any questions at all. We're always here to answer you. We have a whole support staff and everything. And just go get in there and get it. Thrivecart's amazing. And it's going to help your business improve your marketing. All right. Thanks for watching and talk soon.